Today, my assistant Kelly and I are going to share some design ideas to help you hang and design your new wall spheres. I hope that you saw the first video that we did on the tutorial on how to hang the wall spheres. The first thing that you want to start with, very important, is a 5 16 inch drill bit. Very important that you start with the right size hole when you start to put your balls on the wall. Uh, the other video will also show you how to prepare your hooks. Uh, to start on any wall, we strongly suggest you start with the largest spheres first and work the smaller ones around them. And I'll demonstrate. Kelly, will you get me the first sphere, please? Thank you, dear. So, what we want to do, we've got the wall. This is going to go above uh, Kelly's desk. So, the desk is coming to about this high, so we want it in this general area. More often than not, it looks better when the balls are closer together. If they get too spread apart, they kind of lose their feel. Not always, but... So we want to start with the first, the largest balls first. In this case, I'm using the silver and black set of 11 wall spheres. So we're going to start generally in this area, you can also use, hold this for one second, will you? You can also use uh, templates, which are also available on the website, on the uh, YouTube site, Worldly Goods. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Uh, to recap, we started with the larger spheres and then placed the smaller ones around them to get a feel for how we wanted them, to get an idea of the look that we wanted. Uh, we watched the video of the tutorial of hook installation first to prepare the hooks before we start attacking our walls and making problems. Uh, Please stay tuned. We're going to be making more videos. Go ahead and like and subscribe and all of that good stuff. And we're going to be making more videos shortly. Uh, how to display the spheres in a bowl. Tips and tricks. And other ways to design and use your spheres. Thank you very much.